The Ekaterinburg Soviet was led by cold, correct Yakub Yurovsky, a hater of the Tsar and the perfect tool of assassination. At 10.30 that night, the Romanovs went to bed for the last time. At midnight, they heard a knock on the door. They were told to dress, get ready, because the Czechs and the White Russians were about ready to uh, invade the town, and they had to be spirited off. They were led into a semi-basement room, and uh, they were treated again very nicely. Uh, they were given three chairs, one each for the uh, Tsar and the Tsarina, and one for Alexis, who was not very well. Now Yurovsky comes back, and he says, it's too late, we're going to have to kill you. Nicholas rises to uh, protest, and Yurovsky kills him with one bullet. In come the rest of the guards, and a fusillade of shots erupts, and it kills all four of the girls, uh, the Tsar, the Tsarina, and also the footman, the doctor, and not the maid. The maid is, is uh, running around back and forth, uh, screaming, the men who have fired the first fusillade of shots go into the other room, bring back their rifles with bayonets on them, and stab her 30 times. Alexis is not quite dead. Yurovsky goes over to him, places his pistol in the uh, poor boy's ear, fires two shots, and kills him. Daughter Anastasia was finished off by bayonets. Even Jimmy, the family's cocker spaniel, was assassinated. The assassination in its brutality is very important for capturing the mood of the period as, as one of brutality, harshness, insensitivity, uh, and a sense of, of, of this overpowering vengeance. Now it's time to dispose of the bodies. They're dragged off to a mine shaft, an abandoned mine shaft nearby. Sulfuric acid is poured on them to decompose the bodies. They are dismembered also, and they are shoved down into the mine shaft. 